After we get this cleaned up, good enough to put in salt. Josh was not only kind enough to give us his bear to do a project with, but he also gave us one of the bear tooth flushing knives here. And I absolutely love this knife. I've been using this knife now for about a year, and it is by far my favorite flushing knife I've ever had in the studio. One of the main reasons this is the most popular knife in the studio is because it stays sharp. We should usually be able to make it through several bears without having to have the knife actually sharpened. Just touch up on a steel, usually it'll get us through several bears. When we're flushing deer, capes, elk capes, it pretty much lasts the entire season as long as we don't hit a bunch of rock or bullet fragments. The things to look for to keep your knife running as best as it can is don't cut through a bunch of dirt. If you see a lot of dirt on your hide, try to clean a little bit off. And if you're at this phase, like I say, you see a bunch of dirt here, you can just